You may be wondering, what's next? Why am I watching this video with a title of what's next? Well, guess what? I wrote a book and it's called what's next. What's next after what? What's next after you get born again? What's next after you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? If you have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to say thank you, congratulations, welcome to the family. You are amazing and the heavens are rejoicing because you have made that decision to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. There is absolutely no bigger and better decision that you have ever made in your entire life other than accepting Jesus. It's even bigger than who you're going to marry, what college you're going to go to, how many kids you're going to have, and on and on and on. When you accept Jesus, you now become a son of God and your citizenship is heaven. That means when you die, you get to go to heaven and be with Jesus forever. Not only did he give us that gift of going to heaven, he's also given us so many other gifts. And I want to just read a few of them off to you today so that you know how amazing it is to be in the family of God. First off, he said he would give us eternal life. That's found in 1 John 2, 25. He's given us eternal life with the Father. Now we get to go to heaven. Next, he's forgiven us of all of our wrongdoings. So any time that we've sinned in the past, now that we're born again, he's completely washed us clean and made us new. So just know that God is not a God that's going to hold your wrongdoings over your head. God is a God that has completely washed you new and he is going to make sure that it is not capable of him bringing your past up to you. Guess what? The devil may try to bring it up to you, but God doesn't remember it. So he's not going to hold your past sins over your head. That's an amazing thing because I know what it feels like to have things held over my head that I may have done wrong in the past, but God's not that way. He's given you a guide in life. I don't know if you know this yet or not, but this world is crazy to navigate. It is so amazing for me to have a GPS on my phone because if I didn't, I would get lost. Well, God's promised us a guide. God's promised us an internal GPS that can help lead us to make the right decisions in life. He's also promised us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I don't know if you've ever needed any of those attributes in your life, but he's promised to give those to us if we seek him. He's also promised us that all of our needs would be met. Have you ever had a financial need that's needed to be met? He also promised healing and health. Have you ever needed healing and health in your body? God's promised those things as well. He's also promised us wisdom in life. Have you ever come up a situation that you didn't know what to do or where to go or what way to turn? God's promised to give us wisdom in those situations. He's also promised us peace with no anxiety. How amazing is that? No anxiety. God wants to give you complete peace in every situation and circumstance. He also wants to give you protection. In Psalms 91, he goes through and talks about he wants to gird us in his wings. He wants to protect us as we go through this crazy world that we live in today. He wants us to live fear-free. God's promised us a fear-free life. There's so much fear that is thrown at, thrown at us from the media, from social media, from people at school, from whatever viruses or whatever outbreaks are happening. There's so much fear, but God wants you to know that you can be protected and there's no reason to have fear in your life. He also promised that he would take all of your heartache away. Have you ever had heartache that somebody has broken your heart from something? If it be a parent, if it be a girlfriend or a boyfriend, God wants to take your heartbreak away and he wants to be the one that helps you in life. So you know what? What's Next is a book that helps guide you through what's next and how do you make the next steps with Jesus.